So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode of the Apple iPhone SE versus the Apple iPhone 5S. Now what we're gonna do in this video is basically put these head to head in a versus video. We're going to boot them up, we're going to do some app tests, multitasking tests, check out the cameras, and just give you a real world look at these devices. Not a scientific test, although we will mention some of the specs. This has a 1.84 gigahertz dual core A9 CPU. This has a 1.3 gigahertz dual core CPU. One gigabyte of RAM on the right here on the iPhone 5S, two gigabytes of RAM here on the iPhone SE, and both are running version iOS 9.3.1. So let's start this off with a boot up test to see who gets to the home screen first. And we're gonna do this at the same time in three, two, one. And you can see that they are ready to get fired on here. And I will come back as soon as these babies are booted up. All right, so you can see that the iPhone SE booted up pretty much a lot quicker than the iPhone 5S did. But you know what? It's not so much quicker that you're gonna be, you know, waiting around all day. The iPhone 5S still boots up pretty quick, but you know, it really can't touch the SE in terms of the boot up speed. So now before we hop into this testing, let's just go ahead and verify that these are both running the same exact software. Let's go into settings and make sure that of that, just so you know, these are both on 9.3.1. Because some people may be like, well, that one's on 9.3 and the other one's on 9.3.1. So you can see these are both on the same exact versions here. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a general UI test. I'm just going to close everything out to make sure this is a fair test here. Let me close everything out. And we're just gonna kind of go through the system UI before we do the app test. So you can see, pulling down the notification tray is a very similar experience on both of them. Going to notifications, very similar experience there as well. Scrolling up, well I missed it on the SE there, but scrolling up and down on both of these is a very similar experience. And the toggles, they both work pretty equally. And uh, just scrolling through the general operating system, you're not gonna notice too much a difference with the SE. Where you're gonna notice a difference is when we get into apps. But you can see both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And what we're gonna do is get into this application speed test right now. You can see everything is closed. So we're gonna get into that right now. So let's go over and go into, let's see, let's start off with Kindle and see who gets there first. And you can see the SE was there first. Let's go into um, YouTube. And the SE is there first. And let's see who plays a video first. Let's go to my videos. But you can see the iPhone 5S is no slow poke. It's just slightly slower than the SE. So let's play this video right here. And you can see SE playing first and then the 5S coming back home. Let's go into Google Plus. And you can see SE first. Let's come back out. Let's go into Amazon. You can see iPhone SE. Let's come back out. Let's go into eBay, iPhone SE. Let's come back out. Let's go into Pixlr. Let's come back out. Let's go into Google Maps. Let's come back out. Let's go into Pi Geek. And you guys let me know which one you, got, you think is faster down below in the comments section. Let's come back out. Let's go into Calculator. That was about the same. Let's go into Settings quicker on the SE. So everything looks about quicker on the SE. I missed that tap there, so that wasn't a fair one. But you can see everything looks a bit quicker here on the SE. Now let's just basically go back and uh, do a multitasking switch test now. So let's see how the apps go in and out there. Let's go into settings. So you can see both are still blazing fast and I'm actually quite pleased with the iPhone 5S's performance here. Still here in 2016, not quite as fast as the latest iPhone SE but I don't think it's like you have to run out and get this SE right away. You're still gonna be fine with the experience on the iPhone 5S, as long as you're not holding this thing uh, right next to an SE. But you could see the SE is a bit quicker back to the home screen there, both on iOS 9.3.1. But this should show you a real world use of how these guys are gonna stack up to each other. What about the cameras though? So let's open the camera and you can see the SE was a lot quicker to open the camera. 
So the camera is going to be an improved experience on the SE, but both are gonna fire those shots off really fast here. So let me bring in an old cell phone I got here, Nokia Lumia 925. And uh, you can see, you can hold both of these down and they're both gonna rapid fire photos. So rapid fire photos is good, but the SE, as you can see, includes live photos here. But we're gonna talk about more in the camera review of that um, iPhone SE camera review coming soon. But uh, yeah, let's put this off to the side now. All right guys, so what about a browser test? Let's go into Safari on both devices and uh, let's load up a website. So let's go to technobuffalo.com. Let's go to technobuffalo.com on this site as well. So we'll make sure we're going to the same site. Let's hit go on both. And you can see the SE was there. We're still waiting on the 5S. And once again, these are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So this is a fair test. But let's go into an article here just to see, you know, how quickly it goes in to the article, which one goes there quicker. So let me scroll back to the top on the SE. Apple is getting really boring with while Amazon is turning up the heat. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see who gets there first. Call out the ad. Looks like the SE was there first, finished loading. And, uh, but the iPhone 5S, once again, it's just not that slow. I mean, the SE is a great upgrade. I, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you don't do it, but let's not discount how powerful this phone was. And it was just a great phone for its time. And I still think it's a good used phone here in 2016. Let's go back home and now let's run an Antutu benchmark on both devices. And then after that, we'll get into gaming. Actually, I already ran an Antutu benchmark and you could see that the iPhone SE was 125,000 and it's faster than 100% uh, of phones it says, or 99% of cell phones. I don't know what the 1% is, what the S7 or the probably the 6S Plus. And you can see the 5S over there has a user rating of 100 and it's faster than 84% of cell phones at 61,505. So half the speed here on the 5S, but it doesn't feel like that in the real world. Trust me when I say it doesn't feel like that in the real world. So let's go back. And uh, let's turn the phone sideways and just kind of see who opens up these games first. Let's go into Temple Run. Actually, that's a portrait game, so let's come back straight portrait right at you. And it uh, looks like the iPhone 5S, or actually I flipped them. The SE smoked it on that one. Let me put them back the way they were. I know this is getting annoying, all these movements, but just bear with me. I want it to be in sync the way it was from the beginning of the video. But you can see the iPhone smoked it there. So this is a really big performance difference here. Um, the iPhone SE has a six core GPU and then the, you know, the 5S has a four core GPU, quad core graphics. So let's go back home and let's open up Sonic Dash and see which one gets there quicker on this testing. Like we're not gonna play the games. That would be boring just watching me play this game all day. But you can see we're already in here on the SE. Loading up, hard light now coming here on the 5S. S and uh, let's wait for that while the coins are loading over there. Let's hit next over here. So you could see we are already in and about to be playing there on the the SE. So let's go into Tetris for this last test and uh, let's see what happens here. Looks like the SE is going to beat the 5S here once again. So like I say, gaming is going to outperform the 5S slightly. But you're not going to notice too much a difference, once again, unless these are side by side. If you just have a 5S and you get rid of this guy, you know, the 5S is still going to feel like a pretty quick phone. But you get the SE and you put that to the side, this is going to feel like an even quicker phone. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this real world test, you know, a few test comparisons between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 5S. The point of this video was to help you make a decision if you want to upgrade from the iPhone 5S to the iPhone SE. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead, drop a thumbs down below. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, that's the comment section down there. It's waiting for you. And uh, we'll get in a chat about that. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video with somebody else who can find it helpful. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.